So we are going to provide a manual solution to repair the missing DLL file. Just don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Ok, let's start it. First of all, you'll have to understand why this problem is occurring on your computer. The reason could be anything. For example, if you have recently uninstalled any software or game application from your computer or maybe you have recently updated the system. But whatever the reason, this problem is really very annoying. And if you are going to download this DLL file from any downloading website, then your problem may go worse than ever. Basically, this is a Windows DLL file and you don't need to get it from anywhere. So don't download this DLL file from any unknown sources. If you are running Windows 8 or 10 or any upper version of Windows, then run the DISM tool before running the system file checker tool. And also you need a Windows image file, which is the Windows installation setup file. Now go to start, type cmd.exe and open it. Type this command. Now you have to give the path where your Windows 8 or 10 image file is located. In my case, it is located in my pen drive which is a D drive. Now complete this command with the source code. Please remember, D is representing the drive where the Windows setup is located. So you have to change it as per your drive. Now press enter and wait for finish. After finishing the scan, restart your PC. If you are running Windows 7 or Windows Vista on your computer, then you have to type only this code. And press enter. Wait for the finish and restart your PC. If you are unable to do the first method, then you can also try this one. Download the Windows Universal CRT update from Microsoft. It is also known as Windows Universal C Runtime, which is a Windows operating system component. So try this one. This update will apply to the following operating system. Select your operating system and download the update. And if you don't know your system type, then go to desktop. Select my computer, right click, click on properties and you can check your system type here. Most probably it will be 64 bit operating system. Now select your operating system and download the update. If you have Windows 10 or any upper version of the operating system, then download this update from here and install it on your computer. After doing so, restart your PC to check the issue and let us know if the problem is still persisting on your PC or not. Thank you very much.